Hey y'all, Mama Snark here. I'm doing an updated video on how to get double strollers onto Disney World transportation. We are using a City Select 2 double stroller on this trip. It's a single stroller that we converted to a double with a second seat pack, as well as using the glider board attachment on it. So occasionally we would just use it as a single stroller with the glider board to make life easier for bus transportation because that's the worst. So that's gonna be the first mode of transportation that I'm gonna talk about, is using the Disney World buses. You will have to take everything out of the bottom of your stroller to get it onto a bus and fold it up like so. And our system that we would do is hubby would wear the backpack, fold the stroller, and stand next to the double door entrance. I would take both children and put one kid on my lap and the other kid on the seat next to me. Also, another spot to stand is at the front of the bus there, and you can see all of the folded strollers people are having to tote on the bus. Second mode of transportation is going to be the monorail. This is our uh, second or third favorite mode of transportation. So with the monorail, as long as it's not packed, you can actually just roll your stroller right onto it. Using the tandem stroller is a little bit easier because it's narrower, so you have a better, better chance of finding space to roll it onto versus a side-by-side -side double. Second to third favorite mode of transportation is going to be using the ferry boat. So if you park at Magic Kingdom, you're going to have to use either the ferry boat or the monorail to transfer at the TTC to Magic Kingdom's park entrance. So as you can see here, the ferry boat, we were able to just roll the double stroller right onto it, park it, and then kids were able to either get out and look around or we just moved the double stroller closer to the window so that they can look out. So this goes for the ferry from the TTC to Magic Kingdom. If you're taking one of the smaller boats from either Hollywood Studios to the Boardwalk Epcot area, or if you're taking one of the smaller boats from the Magic Kingdom area to a Magic Kingdom resort, such as the Grand Floridian or the Polynesian, you may have to fold your stroller down and take your kids out. And then our third mode of transportation that I'm going to talk about, which is our absolute favorite, the Skyliner. If you have a double stroller and it's a tandem double stroller, which is the front to back like we're using, you can literally walk that sucker right onto the Skyliner, which makes life so much easier, especially if you have sleeping children at the end of the night. If you have a double side by side, you will have to take everything out, including your children, and fold it down to carry it onto the Skyliner. Still not as bad as buses, though, because you have you're pretty much guaranteed a gondola to yourself. Occasionally they would put people in there with us, but for the most part, we had it all to ourselves. So as you can see, we were able to easily wheel it on every time we took the Skyliner. The best, best, best part about it was at the end of the night, as you can see here, we have both of our kids laying down in the double stroller and they were pretty much sound asleep when we left Epcot. We didn't have to take anything out of it. We didn't have to take our kids out and try to shuffle two sleeping children and a big double stroller. We were able to just roll it right on. And then when we got off at our resort, roll it right back off and put our sleeping kids straight to bed without messing with anything. So the Skyliner is by far my favorite mode of transportation. If you do, again, I definitely recommend either having two single strollers or a single stroller if you only have one kid or the tandem double, because it just makes life so much easier. But hopefully this kind of helped to show you the different modes of transportation that are available at the Disney World parks, if you're staying at a Disney World resort, and kind of let you game plan a little bit more for your trip. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give this video a like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow along. Bye, guys.